Hey everyone, welcome to the second part of the health bar tutorial. In the first part, we got a um, health bar showing on the screen like this, and we could edit how much health the player had, and it would draw the corresponding health on the screen. So, uh, just to refresh memory, current health equals full health, but we changed that to 100, then it will only draw 100 pixels of the width, and that way we could manipulate how much the health is shown to the player. So to improve this, um, we want to be able to maybe change the colour, that's a pretty good thing. So we could have it green when it's three quarters full, yellow when it's about medium, and red when it's only got a quarter of the life left. So we'll do, just to show the the, the, the changing colours, we'll have it uh, animating from full health to zero health. So we'll do, we'll do that just now, it yeah, should be quite an easy change. So. Uh, in the update method, just to add a condition checking the current health is greater than or equal to zero. And if it is, then remove the current health by um, rate of change, which doesn't exist at the moment. So create a variable, an integer called rate of change or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and we'll make it equal to one at the moment because I don't I don't know how fast it'll it'll uh, reduce. So current health and change that back to full health as well. So when we run that, we should have the animating health bar. There we go. Now it's going down. So now it will be easier for us to check um, the change of colour when the player's got a certain amount of health. So what we could do, we could do a couple of things. Um, well, let's create the method. We'll create a method. Call it um, health color, and we can go if current health is greater than or equal to the life bar dot width. So that's the full amount, and we want to get. Well, we'll say over three quarters of it then draw it green so that should times it by 0 0.75 uh, we don't have a color variable to change because at the moment so we'll be wanting to change the color so let's just call this bar color and we need to create the variable for it as well it's a color variable so we'll call it bar color and we'll make bar color equal to color dot green. Else if the exact same logic again, bar color is equal to color dot yellow, but we want to change this to a quarter. And finally, let's indent that. I don't know why it's not indented. It. Finally, have an else, and bar color is red, if none of the other conditions are true. Okay, so let me just talk you through this before we see. Make sure it works. What I wanted to do is I want it to when the current health is three quarters, more than three quarters of the current width of the total width. I want it to draw it green. If it goes below three quarters but above a quarter of the health, I want to draw it yellow, else it'll be red. So we want that to actually check, so we need to add that method to the update method is so it gets called. So and we also have the variable now in the color um, in the draw method. So that should work. So let's see. Green, good. Yellow and then it should turn red. Yeah, there we go, excellent. So that's an easy way to change the color depending on the health of the player. Um, of course, you could add a lot more logic to this as well. You could add sounds for warning sounds for when a player is that low in health. There's lots of things you can do, but there's a, a simple uh, couple of minutes just to improve the ex your existing health bar. Um, please, uh, post in the comments any suggestions you have to improve this even further or even 
uh, on my website uh, in the description um, get in touch there as well whichever you prefer and I hope this has been helpful to you okay thanks very much for watching and please do comment if, uh, on what you want to see next in my tutorials for XNA thanks very much